You know, I really don't mind if you take another couple of days off school. Well, I want to see my mates. And Belle texted to see if I could go for tea. Did she? That's nice. It's OK, isn't it? Yeah, why wouldn't it be? No reason. I might just come home. But I thought you liked going to Belle's, and I really don't mind. But what if... But what if what? Will you come and get me if the police find Dad? Yes, of course I will. Well, can we hurry up? Don't want to miss the bus. I know some people used to beg me for a day off school. Hiya. Oh, all right, well, I'm going to get stuck into that mountain of paperwork unless there's anything urgent. Can't think of anything. I'm just taking him to school. No, I want to go on the bus. Hello? No. He's not here. Still no word. I don't care what you all say. He'll be back. He wouldn't just leave me. I have an eye on that. Doesn't matter. I'm late for work. Have you seen Katie at all? Why? She's a lovely girl. Yeah. We well, didn't think that when I first got together with her, did you? What can I say? I was wrong. I apologised at the time. She's been worried about you. Maybe there's still a chance for you both. <laughs> Mum, I don't need relationship advice from you, OK? The police were here yesterday. It's like going back in time. I felt like I did all those years ago. Mum, don't let him do this to you again. No. You're right. I shouldn't care. Natasha certainly doesn't. Well, I'm with her on that one. She's not worth it. Right. Hey, you had the police around yesterday. Yeah. As if my mum didn't have enough to worry about. I didn't tell her to call them, you know. Why can't she just drop it? She's worried. No, she's obsessed. No, you need to sort her out, tell her to back off. It's not as easy as that. Your mum might not give a damn, but mine does. My mum had to tell Will about you. What? Not that. She's hardly going to tell him about you and Maisie, is she? He now knows that you're his brother. Is he okay? Well, he's not great. I'm really sorry. Mal! Who's the other coffee for? The police aren't here, are they? No, it's for Nicola. She's falling asleep at a desk. The joys of motherhood. I bet you never had that problem with us. <laughs> you were not the easiest of children, I can tell you. Your father helped. He was very hands-on, actually. Yeah, well, not with Ryan, was he? I saw him earlier, and he's not happy that his mum called the police. Does that mean he'll stop her doing it again? Do you know what? I, I don't think she'll listen. No prizes for guessing who you're talking about. Have you seen him, then? Did he ask after me? Oh, Maisie. Did he? No, Maisie, he didn't ask after you. He's getting on with his life. All oh, right. Well, good for him. I'm sorry, but he is. And you should as well. Look, it's over. You need to stop feeling sorry for yourself. Seems all right, though. Yeah, he is. I like him. It's just... Yeah, it's a little easy, brother. Yeah, it's a little bit weird, isn't it? You didn't even, uh... I don't know what to do. I mean, what do I say? <laughs> you owe me 11 Christmas presents as a start. <laughs> Come on, I think Mum's got ice cream for pudding. Don't worry. Just cos you sat next to me on the bus didn't mean my mates. Kayla, she can tell it was packed and you didn't have any other choice. It's got nothing to do with Kayla. <laughs> What's up? Come on. Ryan. Ryan. Hi. You can't keep doing this. What? I just wanted to say hello. Fine. Hello. Look, I've been thinking, of what if our parents are lying? They're not. Well, they might be. I mean, it's possible. Think about it. My dad didn't even know you existed, so, you know, what if it's one of your mum's lies again? 
Look, my mum might have lied about a lot of things, OK, but this is not one of them. It might be. It's not. You saw the look on her face when she thought we'd slept together. We're brother and sister. Well, it doesn't feel like that. It feels different. It doesn't to me. OK, just stay away from me. OK, I meant what I said yesterday. I don't want you anywhere near me. What do you want? I want to talk to you. Why? You're the only one that can help me. I need to know the truth. Look, I know you don't want to believe your father's capable of any I don't of this. believe it. I know what he's done. But that doesn't mean that he's Ryan's dad. I'm sorry, but he is. Are you sure? Why are you doing this? Stop thinking about him. Please help me. There's nothing I can say to make this easier for any of us. But you have to accept Ryan's your brother. Oh, it's not that easy. I can't just change how I feel. I was really falling for him. How am I supposed to think of him as my brother now? I, I wish I could tell you. I, I know how hard it is to turn your feelings off. You'd think after 27 years you'd stop loving someone, but I didn't. The love of my life came back and I... I couldn't turn him away. He had a wife and a family. You should have left him alone. I was his wife too. Ryan and I were his family. <laughs> Look. I don't know if it would help, but I could show you our marriage certificate and, and Ryan's birth certificate. Maybe the dates would prove something. But it doesn't even say Mark Wilde on it. It's got some other man's name. I mean, why would I want to see that? Sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to upset you. But leave me alone! Please come back inside. My Daisy Mason. What's wrong? Oh, my dad. It's so beer if it wasn't for her. Come on, come inside. I'll get the kettle on. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I love. 